Okay, boxing fans, next we're talking about Derek Chisora versus Larry Olabimiru. This is another great matchup. British boxing more recently has been under the type of progression where the best fighters are fighting each other. It's not happened at world level yet, but it's happening at domestic level, and that is just great. Both of these boxers are both coming off a loss. Chisora lost to Fiori, and Larry Olabimiru lost to McDermott. So if you don't already know, what can I tell you about Derek Chisora? In his last fight, he came in overweight. He's a good puncher. He's a concussive puncher. He hits very hard. <laughs> That's pretty much all you can say about Chisora. Um, he's got limited speed, but he's got, he can be quite quick off the ropes. He's got a great chin. I've got to hand it to him. I'm not a big, big Chisora fan, but he's got a great chin. His movement wasn't great, and his stamina wasn't great. Hopefully, that will have been worked on and he'll come in a more healthy 17 and a half stone instead of 18 and a half stone. And now talking about Larry Olabamiru, all I can say is this guy I like so much. He is he's a big heavyweight, he's a big muscular heavyweight. Um, unfortunately he's had a hiccup in his in his career as against the journeyman where he lost the decision because he didn't he just didn't do it he just didn't happen for him. I don't know what happened. And then he lost a decision. He lost a, a knockout in round one against um, John McDermott, and it's proved that John can st- it's still got it. John can still punch, but Larry didn't have the best tactics there. He's never been here before. I didn't know what to do. He tried to punch out of it, but he couldn't, and he ended up getting stopped. But he's back now, and we like La- Larry, so it's good. But the th- the thing that's most important here is, if Larry hits you, you stay hit. There's no getting up from Larry. Unfortunately. If Larry gets hit, sometimes he stays hit. And that's why this fight is going to be absolutely great. It's going to be bonkers. It's going to be well up there in domestic little battles. You've got Chisora, who's going to be coming in with the big wild hooks. And you've got Larry, who's going to be doing the exact same. Begging for a knockout, a huge knockout. So who am I going to give it to? I'm not a big fan of Chisora, but I'm going to give it to Chisora by stoppage. I just think at one moment when he's fighting off the ropes throwing his big wild hooks, one of them or two of them will hit and he's going to keep throwing them until Larry goes down or the ref stops him on his feet like like he did to Sam Sexton. Putting up a little disclaimer here, do not expect this to be one for the purists. If you're expecting a good little boxing match, highlighting the word boxing, don't watch it because it's going to be a tear up, it's going to be an absolute fight fest. The second thing is don't think I'm bashing Larry. Larry can win this. If Derek Chisora comes in anywhere near the same weight that he came in in his last fight against against Fiori, then my, my prediction's already wrong. Put it like that. I mean, if he's if he comes in around 18 and a half stone again, then he's going to have a good four rounds in him and that's going to be it. And he can't win it by just having four rounds in him. Because Larry can move. He's got decent speed and he hits like a bitch. He hits hard. I'm, that's all... That's all I can say about that. I mean, so even though that Chisora is definitely beatable, and Larry's definitely beatable, I just see Chisora nicking it by knockout.